If your laptop folds shut like a clamshell, thank a British designer named Bill Mogridge. No, really, your daily tech routine owes a lot to the 1980s. Let's see how laptops truly came to life. The laptop as we know it is the result of decades of innovation, not a single eureka moment. But if we have to name a starting line, it's 1981 with the Grid Compass 1101. Designed by Bill Mogridge for Grid Systems, the Compass was the first portable computer to use a clamshell design. That iconic foldable look? It all started here. But the Compass wasn't just a pretty face. Its rugged, lightweight magnesium case was so ahead of its time, NASA and the US military used it on missions. Talk about out-of-this-world credentials. Just two years later, in 1983, Compaq shook things up with the first IBM-compatible portable computer. It wasn't exactly sleek, it looked more like a sewing machine case, but it proved portability could be practical. Fast forward to 1989 and Apple enters the scene with the Macintosh Portable. Heavy? Yes. Game-changing? Absolutely. It was their first battery-powered Mac. But it was the 1991 Apple PowerBook series that truly set the standard for laptops. With its trackball, palm rest and keyboard placement, it shaped what our modern laptops look and feel like. So next time you open your laptop, remember? It's not just one inventor's genius, but the sum of decades of bold ideas and breakthroughs. And it all started with a clever clamshell in 1981.